To my channel simply outdoors with Shauna thanks for tuning in today it's early morning I wanted to do a breakfast a bushcraft breakfast at the shelter it's sunrise beautiful day it's about minus 10 so it's a little chilly today it's actually the second day of spring just a little cold this morning but it's supposed to warm up so join me today should be a good day I'm here for a few hours to work on the shelter I was a little worried last night yesterday and last night actually the winds were pretty high so I was worried about the shelter um, if the bark would have blew off but it looks really good I'll show you around none of the bark blew off as you can see all the bark is still there I'll show you around back all stayed in place it's really good I'm really happy that uh, the high winds didn't blow any of the bark off. It's great. Ah, the beautiful sun. Well, I love the view that I have of the water and everything, but that's one job I wanted to do today was enclose the shelter a little bit to make it a little more camouflaged from the water. A lot of people travel on here by boat, kayaks, canoes, and you know, I want to keep the shelter safe because there is some people that I don't mind people using it, but I just don't want anybody to wreck it. So. I want to enclose it a little bit and make it a little more camouflaged. So that's what I'm just doing here now.
our piles set up here for our fire. Get some good, uh, good dry wood here. shavings to start a spark. Nice little fire going here. Nice and warm. My water should be uh, boiling up real soon. So I forgot my I forgot my coffee uh, filter. Well, I have my filters. I'll show you what I got. See, I have my filters, but I forgot my little that the filters go in and drip my coffee. So, we are gonna try something, because if that ever happens again, and I forget it, then uh, I'll know for next time that I can do something. 
experimenting. Not sure if this is going to work, but we are going to try it to have a coffee. Alright, so pinch that together. Pinch that together while I pour my coffee. I'll show you what I'm doing here. So I just rigged up. I just rigged up two sticks that I'll pinch it. I'll pinch it while I uh, pour the coffee and we're gonna pour the water and we'll see if this works. Anything for a coffee. Gotta do it slow. It's a working. We got coffee on. It might be a little stronger, but I like strong coffee. Creamer. Cheers, everyone. enjoyed a good cup of coffee relaxing for a little bit so now I'm going to start some breakfast got my little my little vintage cooler that I picked up for four bucks at the Salvation Army I really like it it's can fit everything I need in there when I want to make when I want to bring more food so it works out really good I brought my little rack today because I want to be able to sit it up so I don't smoke out the fire. So I got a few rocks that I'll set up. Keep those rocks so I'm able to uh, lift up a rack when needed. Let's 
something's uh, scaring the geese. Show ya. Something's worked up those geese. They're not happy right now. All right, we're gonna put our bacon on. Okay, guys. Well, I like the geese, but not when they're squawking that loud. Make it on. Have a good hearty breakfast before we start the shelter. They should calm down in a little bit there. So uh, while I'm waiting for the bacon to cook up, I'm going to get the rest of the breakfast ready. We're going to make a potato pancake with, uh, take your potato, with a shredder, I'm <laughs> got a half onion. So shred your potato in the bowl. Potatoes all shaved. Now I'll shave some onion into that. Wow, those geese are still going. Mix the onion in. little salt and pepper. Little garlic powder. Mix that all up. Then in another bowl, you're going to line it with paper towel. Then you take the potato and put it into the paper towel because you gotta squeeze all the, all the water out of the potato. I'm just gonna squeeze, squeeze all the, the water out of the potato. You want the potato dry. Should be good. There we go. Then the potatoes nice and dry because you'll put butter in the pan. I bought brought cheese to shred in to this today. You can put whatever you want in your potato pancake. I'm gonna shred a little cheese. The bacon's good and cooked. Just toss the bacon to the side. 
We got some good bacon grease in there. Throw your potato in. And then you just want to form it into a pancake. Melt some butter around the edges so it doesn't stick. Our butter. We're gonna put our eggs on now. Cover that up and let that cook for a bit. Oh yeah, cooking nice. Now I'm just gonna throw the bacon back in, warm it up. We're gonna have a pumpkin spice latte. Sun is nice, warming, warming everything up. that for next time. The geese have calmed down a little bit. They're still still going. There's our bushcraft breakfast. We got our eggs, bacon, and potato pancake. Breakfast, and then we'll we'll get working on the shelter. One of my favorites. And even better, cooked outside on a fire.
All right, breakfast is all done. Had a good hearty breakfast. Just need to reinforce an area here. It's starting to sag a little bit, so I just cut a good thick branch that I'm going to put into here to support it a little better. Go right in there, so I might have to cut, I'm gonna cut a little off. Gotta go right in this area. Reinforce this branch. As you can see, there's not much uh, daylight coming through now in the shelter. So now I'm going to enclose the sides. I'm just going to get sticks, some nice sizes, and just start leaning sticks up against. Let's do that. Found some good pieces, I'll just have to cut them in half.
here's one side uh, enclosed not too bad it looks pretty good this is the other side so the other side's wide open compared to that side looks pretty good I'll go over here and show you so see there's uh, there's the other side all enclosed and now I'm gonna do this side here Show you the front. All right, it's coming. There's that side, all nice. And then this side just needs some more pieces down here and a couple up there. This side's pretty well enclosed as well. It's gonna find a few more little sticks, fill in some of the holes. Yeah, it's looking good. I'm gonna bring you up here so you can see how camouflaged it is down there. Roof. Let me come around this way. Yeah, so it's coming there that side is camouflaged good as well and closed here and this side there we go Cut off all the ends here, make it nice and neat, and then I can use I can use all these pieces for the edges. I'm gonna cut them too short again, in case the ground settles a little bit. Just want to cut them all off the same length. So I'm just gonna go all the way along and I'll get back to you when I'm done. Got all the pieces cut off even all the way along. Looks a lot neater. So yeah, that was the last job I wanted to do for the day. Show you there. Looks a lot neater all the way across with them all even. There we go. Yeah, that's a few things that I wanted to do today. I wanted to enclose the shelter 
make sure that the roof was good and secure. And then I wanted to enclose the, the front. I got all the, uh, the front area enclosed in and on this side here, I wanted to enclose it so it's uh, a little more private. Well, I think that's all I'm gonna do for today. I gotta head back home and take care of the dogs and, and everything. So I'm just gonna do a few more little things and then call it a day. So thanks for coming along with me today and doing some more work on the shelter. So thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you on the next video. Thanks everyone. Cheers.